the 11th edition of HKTDC Entrepreneur Day featured over 280 exhibitors and attracted more than 18,600 visitors. The annual event has been a platform for the startup community to get inspired, seek funding, source talents and build connections. Under the theme of the Startup Living Lab, the Entrepreneur Day 2019 encouraged exhibitors to showcase their innovative solutions for challenges in clothing, food, housing and transportation, the four major elements of our everyday life. Held concurrently with the exhibition was the Startup Runway, a series of seminars featuring successful business leaders and entrepreneurs who shared their insights on entrepreneurship. All kinds of innovation and technology that we have is always about you know, creating improvements to our lives to make our quality of life higher and to make our lives easier. And this has always been the case for startup. And for me, I found my first startup all the way back in 2011 when I was about nine years old, uh, simply because I've personally experienced these difficulties in trying to learn how to code. Throughout my journey as a teenage entrepreneur, I continue to be determined. I believe in what I do in order to create impact within our society and ultimately I will overcome them and to achieve you know, some achievements uh, along the way. Business opportunities for startups in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area were also spotlighted in the event. The GBA Compass addressed the topic by providing insights to participants on the startup ecosystem in the Greater Bay Area. A few years ago I was also invited to share about our company in Hong Kong, so it is quite good that this year we share about our story in the GBA area. Hong Kong has been part of the GBA Hong Kong government will have more collaborations to facilitate the Hong Kong startup people to have their companies set up in the GBA areas. I think they need to identify their strengths about their startup so that they can promote their business into the GBA or other regions of the China. Collaborating with the Young Founders School, the event debuted the e-living hackathon to promote entrepreneurship among young people. Teenagers presented solutions that unlock their creativity in dealing with daily annoyances. Our idea is to develop an app that can project your image in 3D model that you can try on clothes freely and see how it looks on you accurately. Because we've joined similar startup competition before, so we have more experience and that we are more calm on the stage. This as the first time of the many collaboration, hopefully, um, will serve as a platform for students to showcase what their thoughts are and we want to drive this mindset to them, say once the students see a problem, how are they going to find an innovative way to create a solution that serves more than just themselves but also people around the world. Returning in 2019, the pitching final for the Startup Express second cohort was one of the highlights of Entrepreneur Day. Ten winning startups were granted the opportunity to join local and international events for promoting their businesses. They'll also be exposed to rigorous marketing activities and power meetups in order to scale up quickly. Various exhibition zones presented exhibitors with different focuses. The Imaginarium brought together innovative tech startups, including health tech, biotech, fintech, green tech, and AI related technologies. Creatopia showcased non tech startups. The Boosters provided a range of support services for startups. Go Getters featured startup opportunities related to franchising and brand agents. These zones offered enormous opportunities for startups to gain market exposure. Boy is an all in one mental health solution platform. I have started my business in 2015 and I also kicked started a company in 2017. In these four years of time, finding a people with this ideal mindset and skill set is actually quite hard. You have to really align the mission, the vision with the whole company. Entrepreneur Day, this event is awesome. It helps us to expose to a lot of target customer on the market and a lot of potential investor or a lot of customer will come in and get to know with our business. Entrepreneur Day is not just a good chance for us to do some exposure. More than that is we can have uh, some new sales lead and then at the same time it is a good time for us to chat up about our startup journey. Investors, startup peers, um, corporate people coming in here, it's a very good platform for them to, to network.